see I am moving so slowly I just had my surgery and um, it didn't go as planned not the surgery itself but I guess my plan my thoughts on how things would be afterwards did not go as planned and I'm gonna tell you guys why in this video it involves everybody in this house probably wondering what this thing is this is my drain to drain excess fluid and blood um, I guess from the the trauma site I'll call it the trauma site from the incision and everything else so that's what this bodysuit also it's for is like squeezing me and trying to minimize the bloating in different places what I had done was a hernia's repair diastasis repair my abdominal wall was not centered as it should be they were it was torn open basically and, and there was space to press in to my organs um so i had two hernias and my my intestines were poking through and there was no muscle there there was a tear in that muscle so that had to be my organ had to be pushed back in and that muscle and that hole sewn back closed uh mini tummy tuck which kind of goes along with the diastasis repair they have to do a tummy tuck full or mini um, to pull the skin back down and then I opted for breast augmentation since I was going under anyway I'm as beautiful and amazing as the kids are they can wreak havoc on a body sometimes and there's times that you just can't get it back on your own and I, I worked I tried I tried a lot to repair what I could but I can't fix a hernia and I cannot fix diastasis it's just impossible without medical surgical correction uh, so I need to speak to the girls. Girls, come here, please. I can't come to you. Come here. A needle. A needle. Yes, it's a needle. Why do you have a needle, Mama? Is yeah. it going to give us a needle? No, this needle is not for you. For this you? needle, unfortunately, is for me. Yes, I need to get a needle every day for the next five days. It's going to give it to you. You. Okay. No, Ava, get out of the video. <laughs> no, your dad has to give it to me. Dada, I know you took a job before, but you are lucky. I'm lucky because I get to give her a needle? No, I'd rather do photography. And you're a photographer. Justin. Photographer. Ah! <laughs> it may seem hilarious, but it is not funny. I cannot laugh. I laugh and it hurts. And Justin, I can't laugh. You can laugh if you want no, to. No, I cannot laugh. It physically hurts. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, so, what you, I, I get what you're saying now. I took her home from the surgery a couple days ago. You guys saw that. If not, on her, is it on, is it on our channel? It's on my channel. Her yes. channel, right? So, in the video of her surgery, I took her home, obviously, and I made her laugh. And she's like, you can't do that. And I'm like, well, how? Can I even be me? You know what I'm saying? Like, how can I remove that element of Justin McClure? Because Justin McClure is just a funny person. If you were to say, Justin McClure, stop being Justin McClure, I cannot do that. Justin McClure cannot stop being funny. That's like saying, hey, who's the best looking guy in the world? You know, Brad Pitt. It's like saying, Brad Pitt, can you stop being handsome? He's like, I can't. This is how okay, I... Okay, but that was 10 years ago. Okay. So you who, were funny who, 10 years ago. Who, who, who's the most handsome guy now? Probably me. Okay. Guys, listen. Stop it. it. This, this is this is this is such a problem in this household. And realize how much we laugh in this house. I can't even take it. I can't. <laughs> you smack your face. 
yeah, so I have to get this shot every day for five days. But then I have pain medication as well, so that'll be good. It's from CVS.com. I guess it does say CVS. Dot com. Good read. Dot com. No, come on, Lexi. Okay. Thank you. All right. You girls have to be gentle with me, okay? You have to help me. Help you um fall asleep? No, I don't need your help to fall asleep. I'll help you and help you go to the bathroom. No, I can handle that. Look at it. Can I tell you like a baby? Oh, okay. What's that, Mama? This is... So you could drink the water? No, in there? no, you do not drink this. No, it's not a canteen. George, ready for another one, buddy? Ready for a bite? Here you go. Uh-oh. See how bad of a job I do? It falls out of his mouth. I don't think he really got anything on that scoop. Big bite. Normally I would be feeding Jersey, obviously, but um, I'm tired. I'm really tired. I started feeding him and I kind of just want to sit here. Mmm, yummy. High five on that. Well, mm. the thing about mama, she never gives high fives. I give high fives at least. I may not, I may not feed that well, but I'm gonna give you a high five, so. One of the more difficult things that I didn't, I think, mentally prepare for in all this was Jersey. I mean, he gets so upset when I can't pick him up and I guess I didn't really think that it would be that hard or affect me even that much. And I know he would be upset, but it's upsetting to me. I feel like I'm disconnected from him because I can't really pick him up and he comes to me and then he just gets upset and, and walks away. It's, that's definitely something that um, didn't go as expected or didn't go as maybe I thought it would be. So this, this has definitely been a Mama. very difficult Mama. thing. Is Mama. All I can do is get Mama. down on his Mama. level. Uh, Abdomen was cut, uh, and also my, my abdominal walls were sewn back together, and I had two hernias repaired, so I cannot use any of this muscle in here at all for two weeks. It's almost similar to if you have a C-section with a young child, and you have another child, and you can't pick up the other child. It's a very similar experience. I know there's a lot of women who've probably gone through this, and how did you cope? Like, how did you get through it to the time until you could pick up your child again because it does make you feel like you have a lack of bond happening <laughs> and now of course justin i think he's probably going to be i don't really know what i'm going to do with him actually the last unexpected thing that's happening with this surgery is wait a minute let me check okay i look pretty good go ahead was that like for real or are you like cutting that out? Like, or were you for real? I'm not cutting that. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This house, I cannot like. I think what we need to do is remove my, me from the element of the house because if you can't laugh, I cannot not be funny. That's just who I am. Inherently, Justin McClure is funny. No, but in all seriousness, right, guys, guys, this is a big problem in this house because I didn't plan for or think about how much we laugh in this house. So you're saying the surgery didn't go as planned pretty much because you you can't laugh and that's not what you plan. No, I'm being very serious, Justin. We laugh way too much in this house for my health right now. You guys heard of that show Wife Swap? We need to swap in another wife so that I can just be me and be funny. And then you can go somewhere else where they, you know, have a wheelchair and she can sit around in a wheelchair for a little bit and get better. And I can just be funny to like another temporary wife. I'm not interested no, in her. No one else is going to laugh at your jokes, okay? Oh, okay, seriously. The humor that goes around this house, even from Jersey, like the things that he does, I just, I'm actually going to cry just thinking about it right now. Like, how am I going to make it through this household for the next two weeks, probably more without laughing? It's going to be tough for her. So guys, in the comments, please send your well wishes. You know, her abs might rip back apart and she might have to have another surgery, put them back together. She could go in the hospital from laughing. Laughing is contagious, and sometimes when you're contagious, you get sick and you gotta go to the hospital. Why are you in the hospital for laughing? You shouldn't laugh so much, it's contagious. I got sick, boom, here's a Band-Aid, go home. You don't put Band-Aids on in the hospital. Okay, fine, IV, go home, get out of here. We laugh too much in this house. We laugh too much, guys. The night of the surgery that I got home, this dude here said something, and ugh, I hate saying this because, uh, but he didn't even know that he was being funny. 
he just said something that was hilarious. And I... I sure did. I don't I even did. want to repeat what happened because I might laugh and then that's going to hurt, but I have to tell you guys. He said something that was funny. I'm not going to repeat what you said. And I started laughing and it was just, oh, it hurt so bad. And the girls were in the room and they're like, mom, are you okay? And I said, and I they came like running this. over. I went like this to Justin. I said, Justin, I told you if you make me laugh. So he's like, all right, let me leave then. So he starts walking down the stairs confidently. And, I'm very confident, guys. And he's like, let me leave then because I don't know how I can not make you laugh. And I said, Justin, I promise you, you got one coming tonight. That's what I screamed as he's walking down the stairs. You got one coming tonight. And the girls were still in the room with me. And Alexis, sir, Justin, please stop because I'm going, oh, I'm going to laugh trying to say this. Alexis turns to me and she goes, what if he punches you back? Please stop, please stop, please stop. Ah! It's like I'm going into labor, but I'm dead serious. I really don't want to laugh. She said, she said, what if he punches you? And I, I said, Alexis, get out, get out of my room, just go, get out. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I was like, just get out. Guys, if you see me in the video in the corner just doubled over, no, it's because this household just doesn't care about me. They're too busy <laughs> being funny. Thank you for watching and make sure you do more videos. Subscribe and show more of cases. Thank you for watching.